This video is brought to you by the Crazy Aquarium Guy. Hello fish lovers and welcome to Sex Tanks, Crazy Aquarium Guy. I put out on my community tab or community page or whatever you want to call it, a vote. And you guys voted for me to make a simple short video. So I'm going to do an update on my turtle tank. As you can see, the cork bark has uh, rotten away so much that it's, uh, the silicone and the cork bark doesn't hold it together anymore. Oh, you see, my English is worse now when I'm not making videos anymore. <laughs> you understand what I mean? So I added two more pieces. So I float them together so they still can get up and get a completely dry basking area. This one is a heat light, this is UVB, this is UVB. And we take a closer look, I just want to show you this first, the whole tank. And this is a 100 gallon tank, custom made, that's why it's so tall. I wanted a tall aquarium because I know I needed to uh, have the water level down. And I wanted to dilute the waste from the turtles as much as I could. So I have an inner filter fluval U4. I do not recommend it. So don't buy it. I made a bunch of DIY stuff so now it works. But it sucks. It's very expensive. Don't buy it. And an FX6 filter. And those are good. I can recommend an FX6 filter. That's a good thing that Fluel does. And above that, it's only a blue and white, very cheap Chinese LED light. Because I like that it's a little bit more dim in here. Oh, we have the Fluel streamer, of course, to continue to make enough oxygen in the water for the fish and turtles. Or not the turtles, because they go out. To the surface and breed but for the fish so this is the closer look it's gonna be a bunch of glare and stuff like that uh, it's always difficult to make good video on the turtle tank but I bought zebra Daniels oh we also have an Eheim streamer right there and they are much better than the blue wheel streamers this one is something every week it's something Otherwise, it's spinning and sucking, sucking air or water in the other way, or it's turned off completely, or uh, some, or it's uh, loosened itself and fallen to the ground. Uh, something wrong with it every week. And the Eheim haven't cleaned it, haven't moved it since I put it in, and it's still running. So I know Eheim is expensive, but. Usually it is because it's better. You get what you pay for, right? Zebra uh, Daniels, yes, and turtles. Four musk turtles. Two uh, catfish that I forget the name of now because this is spontaneous. I decided if I'm going to make a video, I need to make it today because tomorrow I'm going to go away again. Uh, and it was pretty clear with 57% or something that you wanted me to make a simple short video. But um, to get my passion back, because my passion died pretty hard when I lost my Fahaka. She got egg bound. Uh, it's kind of my fault because she laid eggs six times. Then I get her a huge tank mate. And the tank mate didn't harass her, but uh, probably... The reason she didn't lay her eggs because she didn't feel safe enough. So it's still, uh, I still blame myself for that. But we have talked about that, and that video was so depressing. But I, ah, uh, I needed to mourn for a period. So that's why I hold back on videos for so long. And you see a lot of giant ramsworm snails because I plan to have my fahaka for five to six years more, so I was breeding ramshorns like crazy giant ramshorns. So I had like 500, but the turtles are strong enough to eat them. So I put in like 25 a week to the turtles when I go away. 
and they have of course the auto feeder of uh, as well GBL very good and I bought 40 zebra Daniels because I wanted something that is gonna be very hardy and it's not gonna make me any problems because the long story the short version is I got a new job it's going well I'm very happy with it but I don't I want to keep my aquariums but I go away for eight days and then I come home one or two days and then I go away for five days and come home one or two days and then I go away seven days and it's like that so it's very difficult but I'm gonna feed them and then show you why you should buy zebra Daniels see this car this new camera is good you can use ah uh, that's not sharp. We take it like this instead. The turtles been fed so much yesterday. They got tiger shrimp and Atlantic shrimp and a bunch of giant rams or snails and a hundred percent water change after that, of course. So they are not going to be fast enough for this frozen food I prepared. This is uh, white mosquito larva and that is actually one of my favorites to feed all kinds of fish I actually go against the herd of youtubers and I never feed bloodworms never and I never feed tube effects uh, bloodworms is because it's like giving your fish chips or dip or McDonald's why they're not gonna remember it yesterday oh he was so nice to me yesterday and gave me blood worms it's just bad for them it's just good tasting but it's no nutrients in them so why feed them that and and they can get bloat from it it's not even good for turtles uh, enough ranting about that and tube effects I don't feed because they are bred oftenly bred in uh, now I'm talking about live tube effects um, black mosquito larva often fed uh, bred in uh, very uh, do you say how do you say very dirty water with a lot of bacteria and virus and stuff that and parasites that can get attached to your fish so frozen white mosquito larva is my favorite and tide favorite with frozen brine shrimp artemia of course that's an amazing food as well Matt but I'm gonna put this cube in and show you why you should buy Daniels because all Daniels acts pretty much the same they are super fast super active Super fun to watch and very, very hardy. Let's move the camera a little close to the cube. Oh, they've been eating so much yesterday, so they are not attacking it like usual. But still, they are pretty hungry, as you can see, and fun to watch. difficult making videos of the turtle tank I always say that because the basking lights make makes it makes the picture quality go down so much but you see how fun they look it's simple it's easy sure they are gray and brown and kind of yellowish but they have stripes and silver in them and they are active and they are hardy and I appreciate them. Perfect tank mates for the turtles and way too fast for the turtles to catch. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Yeah, I had a huge plant here, but it fell down when I was away. Some turtle dug it up. They are so strong, you wouldn't even believe it. I have seen 
one turtle go under all of these logs and lift it up with the back and just move with it and move the, all of it so that they get stuck and die that's usually when you have a cave that's perfect size to get them they can just get in but not get out then because they are so strong they can crawl in and not crawl back out and they drown but <laughs> If they are stuck underneath a root, they are so strong, so much stronger than you uh, think. So it's amazing actually. Uh, my four musk turtles. There is Donatella, my first one. Two, two, are the, two of them is rescues and one of them I bought and one of them I got from my brother. That's Donatella, she's the biggest one. It was Donatello, but it's a female, so Donatella. She's always hungry, you see? She can smell the white mosquito larva. The rescues, uh, they didn't have a dry basking spot. They only were fed vegetable diets, like to uh, red ear slide turtles, uh, for four years. So the girl that kept them, mm, she didn't know that these are omnivores. I usually say carnivores because they love meat so much. But every time I say they are carnivore, people say they are actually omnivore. But they love meat a lot more than vegetables, so I call them carnivore. I can do that. It's my channel. I can say what I want. So my carnivore turtles were fed these two. You can see it's, it, they have a different color these two on the shell and I know musk turtles can have that but I think it's because they never got the UVB and they never got the meat because they only got the vegetable diet uh, and besides that they are three times the age as my turtles and both of them are a lot smaller so that will also tell you something my turtles aren't old at all. Donatella was uh, like quarter size when I bought her. And what is that now? Three and a half years ago? And she is huge compared to the other guys. And they are like six years old or something. So the frozen cube is out. You want me to do a little bit handheld and show you some more close ups? This is one of the rescues, more scared, <laughs> also, as you can see, sorry about the glare. Uh, let's see if we can focus on the zebra daniels. You see, this is an underrated fish, in my opinion. Very active, very fun to watch. There is my monster, Donatella. Always looking. Is it time? Are you going to drop in a shrimp? She is never full. She will just keep eating and eating. The two rescues, you see the difference on the shell? Completely different color, completely different shape if you compare it to Donatella. And they have stayed the same size since I got them. Now they haven't, they have grown, but very slow. And the runt of the family is my male that I got from my brother. It's a male because the shell is round like this and on the females it's like a slope in the middle as you can see on her. So actually I think I have three males and one female in my turtle tank. Um, people say they have problems with aggression but I've never seen anything like that. And of course one million If you can see them, one million Brissonos plecos because as soon as I put Brissonos plecos in an aquarium, I feed them enough to breed always. So I usually give them away to nice people that buy something else from me. So what I've done under this period is, for a couple of years ago I had 18 aquariums, now I have 7. 
but all my seven biggest aquariums are still here and I'm feeling I'm getting my passion for the hobby back so you will I will be posting better videos and more videos from now on and that is a promise but you should also try to help me a little bit because I put in so much time in my new merchandise and I haven't sold a single unit please someone buy a mug buy a sticker buy a t-shirt help me it will all go back to making a video buying a new fish I promise because that gives me time to talk to my boss and say I want an extra day off if you buy five shirts I have 6,000 subscribers. If you buy five or six shirts, I can get an extra day off and make aquarium videos. So please help me. I'm going to leave a link or a pinned comment or something like that in the video for my merchandise. And at least go in and look at it. It's Priscilla that hand painted my Fahaka Puffer. And I think the design of the shirts are really good and I chose the highest quality. So thanks for stopping by fish lovers. See you in the next video. Donatella says goodbye as well. Much love from the crazy aquarium guy.